29-year-old Deontay Moon was a security guard at Millennium Park. He was getting his bachelor's degree in criminal justice at Roosevelt University as he supported his young daughter. All of that ended Saturday around 2 a.m. when on his way home from work, he was shot and killed inside a train car near 79th Street. He was the top of the line, my king, and somebody had to take him away from me. He was a good son, always was supported. And his daughter, he was doing double shifts for his daughter. Moon's family tell us they believe he fell asleep while riding the red line home and had to turn around when he got all the way to 95th Street. Police have released a surveillance photo of these two men who they believe may have been involved in what happened. Well, he said he got robbed. And the only thing he had was on him it was an apple. What else he have? He don't carry money. According to CPD, as of today, there have been 562 violent crimes committed on the CTA. That is compared to 438 at the same time last year, an increase of 28 percent. And while Moon's killing prompted CPD to increase the number of police officers deployed on the system and CTA to announce the imminent return of canine units, transportation experts say the transit agency's biggest challenge lies in its sheer size. You know, a lot of travelers look for reassurance and when visual cues that things are different, those K-9 units, uh, more police officers will help. The problem is the system is so vast that it's hard to make that discernible impact. Now, CTA says that they will have additional details on how those K-9 units will work and how they will be deployed over the course of the next week or so.